I've had ME since a respiratory infection in 2010. I still work part-time, it used to be full-time, but my ME gets a little worse year on year. I wouldn't say I'm living my life with ME, I say I'm surviving life with ME. I use like 120% of my mental and physical energy to survive work, to pay the rent and bills, and beyond that, I'm pretty much just recovering from the impact that that has on me. In the most part, I've lost my career, I've lost my hobbies and my social life and sport, which I dearly miss. I probably won't own my own home or have a family. I'm really, I'm just hanging on to a job for as long as possible. The future feels pretty bleak, but I'm one of the lucky ones in that I can actually work at all. However, for me, what's really difficult to deal with is the current approach to the treatment and diagnosis of people with ME in the UK. As far as I understand it, this is based on the idea that we've become fearful or avoidant of activity and thereby deconditioned. To fix this, we need to change the way we think and start doing little bits of exercise. I did CBT many years ago in a London-based CFS clinic. The psychiatrist waffled something vague about anxiety that wouldn't switch off. And amongst other things, he made me keep a diary of my ME symptoms and the thoughts I was thinking at the time I noticed the symptoms, as if somehow changing the thoughts would get rid of the symptoms. And I believed what he told me, and I kept practicing the same principles for years after the sessions ended, but I've only ever gotten sicker. And I've been grieving the life that I've been losing along the way. And where are we? Many years later, as far as I understand it, if I reach out for help, I would still be offered graded exercise therapy and cognitive behavioral therapy. So how do we move forward from here? Until the new NICE guideline is published, we're stuck. Our lives are on hold with no help and a great deal of stigma and prejudice to boot. As I understand it, the current approach to treating patients with ME is based on evidence that's now considered of low or very low quality, and it doesn't seem to account for the wonderful biomedical research being done at institutions like Stanford. Nice, is this really the standard of healthcare in the year 2021? Please publish that guideline.